This podcast brought to you, empowered by Sunday Cool. Watch this or listen. You could say is brought to you. I don't know. Okay. This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. Watch this or listen. Anthony, that was so good. You did it. You did it, bud. Conjunctions, am I right? Oh, oh man. We're wearing the different clothes. I, I think you could do better. Wait a minute. What happened? How are, how are you here? Nate, okay. you're not supposed to be here till next week. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, where's Luke? <laughs> Hey everybody, thank you for watching. We're gonna be getting right back to Ninjas the Butterflies real quick, but wanna show you uh, around, give you a little bit of a tour of what uh, we're doing here at Sunday Cool. So, everyone's very hard at work. We're actually almost into our busy season. So we got a lot of people over here, chilling, quality control, making sure everything is as beautiful and remarkable as we want it to be. The, the better girl, the cooler call right here, baby. Yes. And then after everything's done printing, we box everything up and then we ship it to you. 72 hour turnaround after art approval. That means as soon as your art is done, you say it's good to go. Within 72 hours, it's on its way to you. Come on, let's come inside. All right, this is our sales department over here. Art people right here, very talented art crew. And there's M. You'll meet the other um, 25 letters of the alphabet later. <laughs> Stupid Josh is up to. There he is. There he is, guys. Are you ready to guess to get back to the pod? Back to the show! I want villains in movies. And I feel like that's what's in cartoons nowadays. There's no, like, villain showing the good and evil, right? Like, I mean, like, the yeah. fight, like, it's... Yeah. Because every every Disney movie we watched when, young, when we were younger, there was, like, it was horrific images. Like, they were pretty graphic as far as, like, just scary for kids. Like the Nazi hyenas lined up in Lion King? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. The, like the Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> like, he's literally singing about Hellfire. Like, it's just like... And Notre Dame is messed it's up. It's super That's dark. That's a messed up movie. But it pre Hunchback prevails, you know? I don't we know why that. the kids, uh, the parents have to die in every cartoon. I'm watching. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm watch, watch. I was like, let's watch Finding Nemo. That's a fun one. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning, the the fish's mom and all their siblings die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's it's a, a really movie. dark Nemo Frozen? theory. Have you heard the dark Nemo theory? No. That all everybody died in the beginning because Nemo is Latin for no one. Is the oh, that's what it means. Finding no one. So, oh. the whole, so he's just going crazy. He's crazy. Oh no! Oh, that's yeah. So yeah. sad. So the dad lives. The dad lives. Oh, and God. so that way he befriends Dory because yeah. Dory doesn't. Dory know doesn't remember on. anything. Oh man! You know, with AI, people Whoa. are going to start creating sequels that's that shouldn't exist. That's a like real. That. It's yeah. a real theory. Um, did you know that Finding Nemo is a bunch of baloney? Other side? Other side? Why? Wow! I can never. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bunch of baloney. Yeah. First of I'm all, because pretty deep in the Pixar nonsense. What? Clownfish. What? can yeah. change genders. If they're a mother, a female is not available to their, their children. If the mom dies, the male can literally change biologically. Oh, clownfish. Clownfish. I have a joke about it. Yeah? I used to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I blew that in my mind. I was like, that's like that. Instantly, the logic is immediately flawed in the whole movie. Why? Because he, why, why do they need a, they that, don't, he, he's got a mom now. What I read Boom. is that if two clownfish. He's got a mom. But then he doesn't have a dad. He's the dad still. <laughs> Let's not go down. The, what I read that if it's two male clownfish in an aquarium together, that the larger, larger of the two will change into a female, so they can procreate. Amazing. I don't the larger, what was, larger. What was the joke? Well, the joke was if that were true for humans, prison would be pretty cool, you know I mean? <laughs> especially for a guy my size. You know, <laughs> short kings would be going to prison yeah. left and right. Yeah. Uh. That is hilarious. Oh, no. I turned myself in for tax fraud. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, we're good? I think so. Awesome. I'm realizing a lot of the cameras that we have don't have autofocus on, or autofocus lock, but we're oh, good. Oh, all right. This is great. When I got here, I thought you guys were, like, n like not set up. I wasn't judging it, but I was like, <laughs> no. oh, you got a lot of cameras, but this is the setup. This it's chaotic. Great. Yeah. Camera per person. No big yeah. deal. We got one up there as well just for a POV. No. This is big time. <laughs> there, there is one rolling right there. Right. Oh, is it rolling? Yeah. From the oh, beginning. Nice. Got all of the stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. So are we taking our shirts off now or? Yeah. Whenever. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> just, that would be just the funniest prank to start pulling. It's just like, all right, cool. Rolling. And then just take the shirts off and chill. Mm -hmm. just, yeah. Start off by getting naked. Getting comfortable, baby.
Oh, man. Well, thanks for being here, Dusty. Yeah, I appreciate it. I don't know. I uh, I talked to them about it. There's a real uh, weather event coming to Nashville, <laughs> so I won't be able to see it. Yeah, he showed me the radar. My... It looks insane. There's oh, like really? A tornado warning and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's, no. It's uh, pretty bad. Yeah, because tornadoes hit here like a couple months ago, right? Like in uh, the Franklin area and stuff? Oh, yeah, all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time, really, but this is what we're looking at today. <laughs> That looks fun. That would be our luck. I'm telling you, this is going to look so cool. I need Dennis Phillips to weigh in on this. Dennis. If a car just gets picked up in the background, though, that would be epic. It, just and it was, the uh, they, they're, they're saying between one and four, and then my wife texted me and said, uh, uh, looks like they're saying there is a tornado watch around 1130. <laughs> so while we're filming, perfect. That's going to be great. I think we should all right. always be on tornado watch. Like just be ready, dude. Yeah. I, in case yeah. it pops up. Like I don't know when we when when can you let the guard down on tornadoes? I I thought when moving from Missouri, I was like, cool, I'll deal with hurricanes. At least you get a you know a heads up. With yeah, them. you have a lot of warning. There's tornadoes where we live now. <laughs> yeah, they're everywhere. Uh, not now. It's not a new. They're thing. everywhere. It's, it's happening. Yeah, if, know that we get out, if they can threaten your life, it'll it happens in Florida. That's so true. you got to be prepared. When there's a volcano nearby. They just haven't found it yet. You have a joke but, about Florida, right? Um, I don't know if we started. I, so I just want to say, <laughs> um, for um, you know, I do want to try to get home before it gets too wild. Yeah, we'll get we'll get you there. So. Yeah, well, okay. two two ish, two ish okay. is good. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I I was thinking that we would be, you know, uh, my wife uh, t- had a chiropractor appointment at one. She oh canceled yeah, yeah. It. that I want to be back for. She didn't cancel. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Because we were like, well, let's feel it out. Yeah, yeah. we do that, need the adjustment. That's the what it was. Is this considered the Midwest? No, no. Is it still? The I south? always say this is the north of the South. I was gonna say this. Oh is, yeah, that's because very we're southern. in the South, but it still gets pretty cold here. Yeah, yeah. I grew up in Alabama, where it's like it doesn't really get that cold. We go yeah. to Chattanooga every January, and it's like the worst part of our year as far as the temperature goes. As yeah, the comfortability goes. Well, Dusty, do you want a song? Do I want a song? Yeah, we yeah. usually we usually do, do a little song, a little ditty. Yeah, I'd love a song. Just kind of throw something together real quick. Yeah, too soon. Figure something out. All right. Yeah, I too love that. Soon. <laughs> I did. I, as soon as I said ditty, I can't say like, ditty. Can't say ditty now. Diddy's a weird name for the kind of thing he's going through. <laughs> You're absolutely right. That's an unfortunate name. Uh, uh. Uh, me, All right. Me, 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 me. <clears throat> We're in Nashville. We're all professionally trained musicians. Just to yeah, I'm pumped about it. Okay. All right. I got some white socks. Sorry, I had not worn white socks in a long time, mm-hmm. and I bought them the other day, and I feel real uncomfortable. <laughs> We all have been texting about it. There's, <laughs> like, you see the socks on? I, I wasn't even thinking. I've been only wearing black socks, and I saw them in the store, and I was like, oh, that looks cool. I went to the Puma outlet. I bought some shoes, yeah. and then I was like, let's get some socks. And now I'm looking. I'm like, I don't like the way that <laughs> I feel weird about it. Believe it or not, we have um, some socks in there for you. Oh, okay. We have oh, some, yeah. this pair right here. Oh, great. That's yeah. much better. Yeah. <laughs> it is much better. It sounds sarcastic <laughs> when I say it, but it oh, is. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> but it is much better. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> All right, we go. are we going, hey boys? Let's we do go. it. <clears throat> well, I stubbed my toe, fell in the dirt, spilled coffee on my brand new shirt. Hey, 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 hey we're, we're having, having a bad, bad time. time. The Hindenburg went up in smoke and the levees in New Orleans broke. Hey, 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 we're having a bad time. Well, they sent that dog up into space and, well, he died up there. (laughs) Having a bad time. Ninjas are butterflies ignoring all the hate and the world's demise. Hey, 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 having a good time. Well, the scale says I'm a little large, and I realize, well, my phone didn't charge. Hey, 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 having a bad time. The Challenger got blown away, and JFK had a bad hair day. Hey, 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 having a bad time. Stopped in Hawaii, 1941. Didn't really have any fun. What? Why? Why? 
because of Pearl Harbor. Oh. Oh. Jeez. Ninjas are butterflies. We're here with Dusty Slay. Hey, hey, hey. Having, Having a good, good time. time. All right. That's a great song. Go. That was really good. Did they really kill a dog like that, though? <laughs> it was Russia, right? Yeah, Russia's yeah. Like the yeah. first space dog. Because I don't really believe in space. I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> like, what did you do to the dog? <laughs> So now that we know that space isn't real, yeah. let's get to the real question. Believe questions. in space? Yeah, well, I mean, come That's on. That's the second time I've heard that. <laughs> Don't act surprised. Come on. Let's let's not act, keep pretending Listen, this is in, real. In fifth grade, I went to Cape Canaveral, and I got a lot of unlearning to do if space isn't real. I slept under the rockets it's all, that day. It's all propaganda. Mm. It just seems so silly, space. <laughs> it does. It does. Uh, it's, it is ridiculous. Like, That's what's so amazing about it, but it's it is so ridiculous. Like yeah. once you see the moon landing stuff and you go, Well, that doesn't seem real. <laughs> and then <laughs> like, you know, they're on the moon and like somehow there was a guy on the moon to film them landing. Yeah. And then they're out there, they got a little dune buggy out there. It's like <laughs> there's a lot. But now they're like, We can't go there. We we lost the we lost Techno the plane. Yeah, the technology. We, got, we lost yeah. it. Or we got rid of it or something. No, they but, said that they lost it. But so you you guys, we've that? all formatted a drive, right, that we just forgot had important information, <laughs> like the specs to go to the moon. They're like, we got a rover on Mars now, but they're like, we can't, just can't that get moon. back can't to the get moon. To the moon. Oh, I just can't reach it. Right hey, there. Space is hard, but the moon is harder. <laughs> that's what <laughs> they, they say. say. That's, what they, yeah. that's what they say. You know what they also say, though? What? Is the question of the day. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. Is it a serious question? Some would say. Okay. Speaking of space, Dusty, we have a question that was sent in by our viewer. Oh, yeah. And it's, um, well, it's something. <sighs> Some would say it's nothing, but a lot of people would say it's something. Mm. So the question of the day, mm -hmm. sent in by a viewer, <sighs> is P. Diddy part of the royal family? That's deep. That is a deep question. I never, I've never even considered that. Actually, why? I, why did they think that? Why? Don't I? We we never know. Okay. Why they ask these questions? But but I'm glad they. But trust it is a us. question. I'm glad they trust us enough to an, um, ask that question. Yeah. Yeah. I hope that we. I mean. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I would say. Sure. Why not? Yeah. We can look into it. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think so. What's his name? Sean Combs. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Combs. Is that a royal name? You think? Combs, yeah. Combs. Honey? Comb Wait, if I'm getting they honeycomb? In the bees. Sir Combs. Yeah. Have, Sir Combs. Sir like a queen <laughs> bee. A queen, a queen bee. Queen, queen bee honeycomb. P. Diddy. Puff. Puff. Family. P. Diddy. Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy. daddy at one Puff point. Daddy. The, ki the, queen the, the had queen, a daddy. The queen did have a daddy. And the queen, <laughs> Puff gone she's gone now she is gone so puff, if we think about yeah. that yeah she's gone the, the, she the puffed are into, connecting she puffed yeah. into Nothing. death yes space doesn't he have a new name now too i think he had a new name he was being going by something else like i'm seeing a lot of people call something. him different names i'm just not sure That's isn't not, it doesn't he go by king diddy now <laughs> I, <laughs> the, I, duke, I, the duke so, of diddington i mean i i guess we just duke figured out guys that p diddy He's part of the royal family. Wow. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful. Has an empty your mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninja attack. I think the Duke of Diddington is <laughs> about right right now. <laughs> I mean, I don't want Diddy's people coming for me, so I don't want to pile on. But yeah, no. he's in some trouble. Do you he have is. any connections with? Uh, have you ever passed, you know, cross paths? <laughs> no. With uh, he's operating at a higher <laughs> echelon than me. I don't know what <laughs> echelon is, but it seems like <laughs> a no, it sounds higher. Yeah, yeah. There should be a book on his renaming, though, because that was always like. I, I don't know if you guys have these high school or middle school memories of like your P Diddy change. He's not. He's not P Diddy anymore. He's going by a new name. I mean, that that's it was like that, with that, a that had been red flags, right? 
Well, Prince had like one name change. But didn't he change it to like a symbol? A symbol. Yeah. A symbol. That was kind of cool. cool. The it, artist yeah. formerly known as Prince. Yeah. yeah. And I think that was pretty cool. And that was it. But that's like, but that had to have been red flags. I mean, how many times did he have to change his name? It's like, yeah. I don't trust a guy with so many nicknames. Wait, so what is he now? Somebody was saying he was like, like that uh, Suge Knight, even from prison, was like, you better change that name before you get to prison. Like, <laughs> it was some name that. Like Sugar Daddy or yeah. something like that. Weird. That's what he's rocking with right now. Yeah. Sugar Daddy. Did you guys ever no. change like what you went by? I had a friend that went. He was Chris, and he wa- he came in one day and he wanted us all to call him Topher. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a joke. This is a real story. That's and crazy. I looked at him in the eyes and said, "I'm. I won't. I won't. I, I respect this." His name was Chris, you. and he wanted to be Topher. He want just one day out of oh, the because his name was Chris Christopher. Topher. <laughs> right, yeah. Topher Grace was didn't popular. Even get that. That's that's pretty clever. Though. You didn't get that. <laughs> no, I didn't get that. So like, he was like, Topher. <laughs> is it was it cool with you guys if I go by Topher from now on? And I said, I that's fine. I don't think I'm going to get there. Just yeah. so we're. On I the respect table. the journey you're on, but I don't. I respect <laughs> you too much to call you. That. <laughs> <laughs> it's like honestly, if you picked a, a more random name, I probably would have supported. Yeah, you could come. I'm going to call me Rex. Right. Sure. Like T Bird, I'd be like, yeah, man, T Bird, let's do that. But Topher, I can't, I can't come. I knew a guy named Daryl, and he wanted to be called Mitch, and he just said he always liked the name Mitch, and it (laughs) worked. We all said, all right, and uh, we just called him Mitch, and that's what's wrong with that though. That's pretty cool. I I mean, that's a supportive group of friends. We should just be all collective. Like, if you don't like your name, you should be able to change it. Are you? Is it legally Dusty or is it is it Dustin or? It's Dustin. Dustin. Legally. Yeah. But my Legal. parents <laughs> gave me that name, uh, re- wrote it on the birth certificate, but they always called me Dusty from the get go. Yeah. No one's ever called me Dustin, <laughs> and so I don't even know why they wrote it down. Yeah. That's so odd. That's a that's a thing parents do. I hear people. They're like, yeah, we're gonna name them this and call them that. It's not as big of a leap as that, but like Andy Andrew, like my name's Andrew, but they've never called me that. Like it's always been Andy, and so it's like just then just do that, dude. Just Anthony, make, it make Andy. that happen. Yeah. Anthony's a grab bag. You get you get people fire off with Tony right away. <laughs> I love Tony, 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 Antonio. They just play. It's like it's like an invitation to that just is like a, that is a fun name to Scrabble my with. name up and then give it back to me. My nephew is Anthony. He he likes to go by Ant. Yeah, that's oh. what my family calls me. Ant. Yeah, that's like my yeah. close, close Nef- nephew Ant. Yeah, I was trying to get him to do some social media things one time, and we were going to do a real Ant channel. Where we were going to film a lot of stuff on ants, but <laughs> we were in Colorado and he was getting into the dispensaries pretty heavy. <laughs> and we were going to do a whole ant thing. And then he got home. I think he sobered up a bit and he. he you lose interest of <laughs> ants. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what was fueling it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out I'm really not into insects. <laughs> that I was be in, a- though. I was trying to run that page. I was trying to, I had access right. to it. I was trying to keep that going. And you don't know where we're sitting on. We're sitting on a gold <laughs> yeah. mine. What an ant gold mine. What a terrible part of your sobriety that you would realize you're like five years into a project that <laughs> when you're clean, you're just not interested in ants at all. It'd be disappointing. I have, now I have no interest in this thing. Well, he went to shows with me and I was selling all these shirts at mm-hmm. shows. And he's like, I want to do that. I want to sell shirts. And I'm like, well, you got to have a. They're not just buying the shirts. I mean, they are, but they they like my comedy. <laughs> it's like it's, it's a relation to me, and they know the money's going to me. They want yeah. To, so I was like, we got to get you a thing going. Yeah. We can get you a thing going, and then you can go, you know, go viral on the internet. Then you can probably sell some shirts. You just go to Goodwill, grab a bunch of shirts, and sit outside a venue and just sell shirts. <laughs> just hey, man, just put a stamp on them. on them. Yeah, exactly. I'm just like. Just write like get a sharpie and just write your signature on it and make it just be very vague about it. The repurposed collection. Yeah. yeah. I love well, it. Well, Dusty, what do you think about aliens? Well, I don't think aliens are real. All right. Because, I would hope uh, so cause because space isn't real. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Where like, are they coming from? I mean, I think people are seeing things. Yeah. You know, but I think aliens are demons. Oh, nice. Same. Yeah. Like literal demons? Well, you know, it's like, who knows what all these things are? But I think it's more dimensional beings, right? Like, you know, they are alien in a sense, but not space aliens. Yeah. Alien in our our minds. Like, yeah, it's like another dimension. Yeah, you know, Alistair Crowley, like, uh, or Crowley, however you say it, he was the, you know, the father of Satanism. And he says he was visited by a demon. And then either him or his wife drew a picture of the demon that they saw, and the demon looked like what we would like a gray, like a gray alien. It's literally no Marvin the way. Martian. Yeah, when she no. turns it around, <laughs> the Looney Tunes. <laughs> <character>. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sorry, but that's him. What? That's him, officer. But that, that's <laughs> no, I agree with you. That's, that that's, story. that's where I, what I think too is just like I got to start looking into it more because I'm just like that. I hear that idea and it's just like so out of this world to me. That's yeah, it. That oh, that is, dude. Dude, dude. That's an alien. I literally yeah. kept on without seeing that. That's so. And scary then you looking. could take the picture what? of of two Apple logos. Um, and there's a there's a picture of two Apple logos together that looks like an alien like that too. Oh, no way. trippy! Golly! Yeah. Huh? Man. I don't know. Oh, well, thanks a lot, Steve. <laughs> well. And you know, and then they say you know, like the the Apple logo is the bitten apple, like the from bitten Eden. fruit yeah. kind of thing. And then look at this, look at this thing. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness! Oh I've never, whoa! That's like an uh, what is that? The Rorschach test. Yeah, like what yeah. do you see? Like an ink yeah. blot. Yeah, oh, yeah. man, yeah, I, can't, you, I can't unsee the alien now. Yeah, if you look at that and you just see two apples next to each other, you've lived a good life. <laughs> 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 Your parents stayed together. <laughs> yeah. you, you, everything was perfect. You're like, I don't get it. I just see two apples. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> delicious apples, and I'm so hungry right I'm now. I'm always like three steps behind from seeing it. Did you guys ever do the um, where your eyes have to relax? And yeah, there's like that's, an image? that's hard. We did, oh yeah, we did it. Yeah, what is it? A stereogram? Yeah, like or two episodes like ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was editing. That was hilarious. I but, cut a short out of it and just like looking at everyone's faces while they're like going yeah, like cross-eyed. Cross but that was crying. the opposite of Dude. relaxing your eyes. The, yeah. Yeah. He's like, cross your eyes. I'm like, okay. No, I get. <laughs> I I've lied every one of them. I, I'll just sync up. Oh, wow. Be like, oh, you I guys. See it. You guys. You. We both saw a leopard. <laughs> yep, I saw that too. That's what I was looking at. Certainly not just a blurry bunch of images. <laughs> there was one going around a while on the internet where you could like you would hold your phone like this and it would say like you know Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the internet a lot. <laughs> Do you scroll? Do you like are you on TikTok mostly? Well, or it's what? like I you know lately I've been doing theaters right, so now I'm traveling almost every day when I'm on the road. But for so long I go to a city, I'm there three days, mm -hmm. and so I'm like two days in a hotel. I don't like to do things. You don't venture yeah. out? A little bit sometimes, but I'm always like, I got to get back to the hotel. <laughs> There's stuff <laughs> waiting for yeah, me. Yeah, I got to get back. And so I just... That's I've, just so funny. Like, find, like, just imagine like just running into you in like a city and then just be like, I, sorry, I got to get back to the hotel. I was like, oh, you got something... I just, it's just, it's, I got to get if back. I turn the oven off. <laughs> I mean, I'll get on TikTok. I'll be like, all right, I got to get to sleep. I only got two hours before I got to get up. And then the next thing you know, I'm like, oh, I only got an hour now. And I'm like, I just, TikTok is wild now. It yeah. is. And I love it. Yeah. yeah. What does your algorithm look <laughs> Dude, like? Dude, it's I'm curious. Cool. A lot of, you know, right now, a lot of Eclipse stuff. A lot yeah. of Eclipse. We talked about that. It's a, uh, I guess the episode came out last week. It hasn't come out yet with our current. We, we shot a lot of episodes before coming here just to like free up time. So, okay. but it's happening. The world is, but it's blurred. wild. It's oh yeah. Wet. What you know, are we? What are we saying about the eclipse? I'm I'm a little behind on. Well, it's already happened when this comes out, but there's just if a it, lot. If of, it even comes if, out, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. The greatest podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, there's just a lot of weird stuff around it. There's like just like the National Guard is involved and like all these cities along the path are oh, like okay. have gas in your car, like have a printable map, like make sure you have contact with your family, have okay. like AM, FM radio, battery powered. It's like, well, that's wild. It's like wild. the same list of crap if like a hurricane is like barreling down. Okay. That, yeah. That's the list. And now they're saying they're launching CERN yep. uh, during the eclipse. And they also say uh, uh, a segment of NASA is going to be launching missiles at the uh, eclipse. What? Yeah, I heard that today. <laughs> what are we doing? It's like uh, called like APEP or something. And APEP is named after like a, like a uh, I don't know, some type of demon. Uh, We're going back to the symbolism. We were talking about the symbolism, like the dark symbolism in the, yeah. the world before you got here. And it's just like... Why is it happening? Why are these... It's so obvious. Yeah, they're saying like this deity that they're naming it after used to f chase the sun god Ra trying to uh, overtake him. Whoa. This Apep guy. Oh, okay. So they're now they're going to launch missiles at the eclipse or rockets or something. It's, I don't know. It's, There's always They're always doing something crazy. They're like, we're going to try to block out the sun <laughs> to combat global warming. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe don't block the sun. 
we could probably just leave it alone for now. Yeah. What's such a bummer is if like the world ends or something, it's gonna go down with my face in a cereal box and my makeshift like eclipse goggles, <laughs> goggles. that I make at the house. What a sad way to go and out. They're gonna be like, this was the last time we saw Anthony and his face <laughs> is in the Captain Crunch box. He's still squinting because he didn't make it right. Dang. I saw that kids are there. Old Tony didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just I'll just look like me. <laughs> There's uh, I saw that clip again. It's just so funny. Trump when he there in his uh, his presidency when he was looking up at the solar clip <laughs> without glasses, squinting. It's just the funniest thing. He, he, he just he's just looking out. He's waving, and then suddenly he just goes, <laughs> and then you hear people shout, "Don't look up!" It's really then, bright. <laughs> And then, uh, and then he pulls the, the glasses out of his pocket and he just shows it to him and then walks away. That's <laughs> just so funny. I had him. Yeah. I had him. I don't need him. I wonder why you're not why you're not supposed to look. I mean, I know you're not supposed to stare at the sun, but if it, if you look at the sun and it's too bright, you look away. Yeah, right. Yeah. But also, the sun's being blocked out, so you yeah, yeah. think there's less sun. Yeah. Well, do you <laughs> ever? Makes, you know, like I mean, that's, there's less sun. That's checking <laughs> when the when the clouds cover the sun, yeah. and you can like. St- I always think yeah, that's yeah. cool, but then I catch myself and I'm like, oh, I'm not supposed to be doing this. But then I'm like, but why though? Because it's not. I'm okay doing this. I honestly think the government's lying to us. Kids, yeah. stare at the sun as long as you want. <laughs> look at the everyone, sun. Everyone go outside and look Take at the sun. Take one thing away from this. Take well, it, so time, there is a timer. thing that some people are into called sun gazing, where you do stare at the sun a little bit, and then you get like uh, you know vitamin D in your eyes. Oh, yeah. yeah I've heard this. Yeah. I have a friend that stopped wearing sunglasses because yeah. of this. That's crazy. Well, have you have yeah. you heard like the skin cancer conspiracy? Yeah. Where they say like sunglasses and tinted windows and cars and stuff have led to a ton of skin cancer. Because our brains aren't processing the amount of light wow. that we're actually oh, yeah. absorbing. Oh, That's it. what I think about um uh what, what is it called? Sunblock? Yeah. yeah. Is it's like your your uh burning is the warning to your body to be like, you got too much sun. Yeah. Yeah. So you just put the sunblock on and then you're still getting sun, but your body is just not able to warn you. That's fair. Yeah. So you're just taking it in. And what is in that sunscreen? What's in that sunscreen? Yeah, lots of wild stuff, I'm sure. <laughs> the biggest organ on our body, we're like, yeah, protect me from the thing that's been around since the beginning of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this will help. What is NASA doing? Why haven't they blocked this yet? The giver of life to all our plants. Dude. Block me. <laughs> Block it. Dude, there's truth to all that stuff, though. Yeah. You guys remember, like, Spy Optics? Like, when that was a huge brand, Spy Sunglasses? Oh, yeah. Dude, they had a Japanese scientist develop a lens. They called it the happy lens, because I'm sure the scientific phrasing wasn't marketable but it <laughs> lets the light through your brain apparently when you're outdoors you know like they talk about like the dopamine and stuff you get from being outdoors it has to do with a specific like frequency of light passing through and that oh. frequency is not harmful to uh, the body or the eye and so they developed a lens that let that through. oh that's cool at least that's what they told me and i had to sell the sunglasses so <laughs> <laughs> It was obviously a pyramid scheme you were tied yeah. into. You were selling Dude, I got story. so many free pairs of sunglasses. Wait, so, th- I mean, that sounds good, right? Right. That sounds great. I, d- I did sell a lot. Yeah. And if you Where are they at now? get five people <laughs> selling them under you, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and everybody wins. You know, my we're wife, <laughs> my wife's from Canada and she went to a doctor when she first got here about, uh, it's like the immigration doctor for whatever. And he, uh, Found out we did comedy and was like, "Hey, I got an op- I got an opportunity for you to maybe make some money." And so I was like, "All right, maybe this guy's got some gigs or something." Yeah. yeah. So we went and met with this guy and his wife, and he would tried to pitch us on uh, what is it uh, a pyramid scheme? But what is the company? Uh, Multi level mar- MLM. Multi-level something marketing. like that. Yeah. But it was like, uh, but I, it was something that I recognized right away, and I was like, "Oh no!" I was like, "Now I got to <laughs> sit here for thirty minutes and be polite to this guy." Uh, was it like supplements like, and stuff? It was uh, uh It's <laughs> such a popular thing. If you saw it, essential you, oils. Uh, I don't know. It's some yeah. com- uh, What is it? It's some company. But I just saw it right away, uh, and I was like, "Oh no," because <laughs> I'm like, I know I'm not going to say yes to this, but he seems like a very nice guy. Yeah. Right. His wife is here. I'm going to do this whole thing, and then at the end, I'm going to go. Oh. My wife wasn't familiar with it, so when he goes, "Well, you guys are in- are you interested?" <laughs> and I go, "No, we're not." 
And then my wife was like, whoa. Like, <laughs> like I went so yeah. fast on it. Yeah. Amway. 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 Yeah, Amway. Classic. That's so funny. And it's like, this is the immigration doctor. So this guy's getting Dude. immigrants coming to the country to sign up for his Amway. <laughs> A good side hustle. Oh, that guy has a pink. <laughs> that's crazy. That guy has a pink Cadillac for <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's wild, dude. What part of uh, Canada's your wife from? Uh, she's from Peterborough, Ontario. Okay, my wife's from London, Ontario. All right, I've been through London. I'm a quarter French Canadian. Yeah, right. <laughs> and I don't like Canadians. So more fun facts. Connection. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> more fun <laughs> facts. I love. I'm obsessed with though, like that situation with your doctor like that kind of connection we were talking with josh about like i forget what story you were telling but and maybe it wasn't you but somebody has told me before about like a tattoo artist like going in on some stuff and i'm like your relationship with this person is such that like you can't like just sort of like bail and walk away yeah like yeah, you're yeah. sort of in it right now so you gotta like rock with whatever they're saying for a period of time because yeah it's like that's oh my yeah I got it's like an old weed dealer. <laughs> right. Like, oh, I got to hear this again. I'm just trying to get a quarterback here. <laughs> so you got to sort of nod a little bit. You can't you like, go, whoa, man, that's crazy. I think you might. Yeah. You look I, that up. I, I can't remember what. There was some podcast, some comedian that I was listening to, and they were talking about like, they don't do uh, do it anymore, but there used to be time. I was like, I just needed, I wanted, I needed to get something so quickly. So I rushed over there, and you're sitting down. And you're like, I need that hit or whatever. And then the guy just would want to talk, and he's like, just let me, I'll, and I'll sit here and talk with you all day long. Just yeah. like, give it to me now. <laughs> Come on, please. Uh, yeah. That's real addict type behavior. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that man. he's telling that story to be funny, and his friends are like, "Hey, man, like, are you are you good?" <laughs> no, it's a great story, but are you good? Yeah, All right. Yeah, I did have a sunscreen story. I I'm real. You talk about the junk in it. I'm real sensitive to it, and we live in Florida, so it's I've had to sensitive to the sun to the sunscreen. Oh, okay, no, I'm actually pretty good with the sun. I'm like Italian, Italian so. Yeah. I mean, do okay, but I've been doing the fishing shirts. Rub it in. Sorry, that I'm my, Italian. My heritage <laughs> about it. is offensive to you. Um, <laughs> but I, I, we were on a canoe trip, and like we were going, you know, like you do. We were going like yeah. one way, and then we turn around, and come back, and I put sunscreen on because I didn't have like the shirt on. I started itching, like I was like my, I wanted to rip my skin off, like I was like. But I was trying to be cool. I didn't want to like, ruin the trip for everybody. So they were like, you guys have fun. Like, let's go another like half mile. And I was like, yeah, yeah, let's, we'll do that. That'll be okay. And I kept going. And then we got like to this point where I lost, I did jump out of the canoe. I was like, I can't, guys, I'm so sorry, but so we got to go like, back. React is it the Yeah, I get like oh a rash. My, no I get, way. Like, super itchy. I have That's to the use, body, like, man. Did you jump in and like swim home or just wash off? I just jumped in and like stayed there for a minute. And I'm really like, I hate making stuff about me. Like I don't. I'm like. <laughs> did you make up? Like, did you make up an excuse? Like, no, nah, I wanted to swim. I, I just wanted. Well, to, I like. I my, wanted to swim. I was high key pushing my kid in the water, like. You should swim, buddy. Why don't you swim, buddy? And then finally, I was like, I gotta get in, guys. I'm really sorry. I cannot do this anymore. My I'm, kid's drowning. <laughs> just, I'm just throwing it, <laughs> pushing it down. <laughs> I need a reason. That's why I hate. I hate a like boats you know that aren't mine like people want to invite me out on a boat and yeah I'm like, nah it's a i got a real control issue about a boat dude i get that you know yeah. i get that you're just out there you're stuck yeah. yeah yeah i went i was supposed to be going on a fishing trip so i used to live on the water my buddy hit me up he's like hey i'm gonna pass your dock come jump on we're fishing so i run down like an idiot with all my tackle and as we're passing to go out of the Destin harbor there's an island called crab island and like a couple people called him over and I ended up with all my fishing gear, not prepared for like a day of just sitting on a sandbar. Got stuck for like four hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Like if I'm going on a boat, I got to really know the guy. That's Aaron. why I like to drive everywhere. Yeah. Like, yeah. like my own vehicle because I, I don't want to be stuck. A anywhere. boat's a, yeah. a boat's a party. It's a hangout. And like if the person the person that owns the boat isn't like. It's not a very good vibe, and it's like you're you're literally stuck, and there's, yeah. you can't there's, do anything about there's it. Everyone's got different rules too, and there's definitely different types of boat people, right? Like very, yeah, like fishing boat and party boat are right. incredibly. Yeah, it's different like this guy's. I'm pretty sure this guy's been drinking 18 beers, and this guy's driving, <laughs> and like we have our kids, and we're just like <laughs> we're not uh, even in the water yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Wakeboarding it's 8 boat, Fred. Too, I, yeah. I've been stuck on a wakeboarding cruise that I didn't realize I was getting into, and I'm all I'm. 
I feel like I'm mildly like I can figure stuff out, but I can't wake. I can't do anything on a board to save my life. I can't mm-hmm. skateboard. I can't. I don't like right. stuff moving under my feet like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> if I'm steady, I'll figure it out. Like whenever I say that, people always say that uh, they'll always reference a bicycle, and I'm like, no, not like that. Like you're sitting on the bicycle. Yeah, hundred like percent. Yeah. Where yeah, where your feet like a, yeah, skateboard, surfboards. I can't do rollerblades. I never. I actually never tried rollerblades, but regular roller skates is no good for me. All right, well, we got you some rollerblades. We- <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com. Yeah, well, people make fun of rollerblades so much that you can't even like learn to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You go to like a dark alley. To, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Certain yeah. things. If you didn't pick it up, like you can't, grown man. If you don't know how to yo-yo at this point, like you can't <laughs> learn how to yo-yo. I think yeah. you could do secretly. I think that's something you could like. <laughs> just take a lot of bathroom time, trips. Less- you know, it's just kind of weird. And he just pulls out a Omega X brain. <laughs> but rollerblades would be tough to try to hide. Did you yeah. guys ever get into? It was like early two thousands. It was like a hacky sack, but it was like rec- rectangle. But like you like you know what I'm talking about? No. And it was like the whole point of it was like to do tricks, but you always like land it on your hand. <laughs> no. It no, was the dumbest dude. thing ever. But like they would sell like a glow in the dark one and like yeah. different pattern ones. Yeah. Like everyone wanted one. I think the dumbest childhood toy that I went all in on was pogs. I was into pogs. What are pogs? For real? Yes, that. Miyachis? I have no idea. No, what that I never. Is. I don't know that. Maybe it was just yeah. a Florida thing. <laughs> on know. the hand. You know yeah. what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, <it's>, you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's so that's so you, lame. You were in, so, you, you were into it though. Oh yeah. Were you good at it? No. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I never got into hacky sack pog. I think I had a couple, yeah. but I don't even remember why I had them that's or what, what they were for. We just traded them. Do it. What's a pog? Oh, my friends would gamble them. Like a cardboard disc that they sold for way too much money yeah. for it basically being a cereal yeah. box. I think I, I yeah, I think I got some cereal box. Oh, oh, is it art on them? Oh, okay. And then you yeah, get yeah, yeah. slammers yep. that were varying weights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're like your people that were older than you would steal your pog. Did you like, actually understand how to play? <laughs> yeah, we had like a whole I system. I had no idea. We just threw the thing at our stack we had a whole pogs system. as hard as we could. I did not. I'm not a gambler. So I, I felt me and pogs fell out pretty quick because gotcha. I was like, gotcha. I'm just here for fun, guys. I don't want to really lose my pogs. Yeah, I was. I, I missed a lot of that stuff. Tech decks? I never heard of a tech deck. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what you little me? finger skateboards? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I was never into it, though. I, I wanted to be a yo-yo guy, and I remember getting a yo-yo, and I was like, I can't be a yo-yo guy because it's just it was too hard. I yeah, couldn't get it. Very hard. It. But then they came out with the retractable ones, oh, the yeah. fake ones, the, the and ball. I thought it was yeah, so yeah, yeah. cool. And I was like, <laughs> a fake uh, yeah. yo-yo? I it was like, it was like was the ball. There. It was like a ball. Yeah. Like a, you slipped the like, ring on, and it's like, whoop. <laughs> it literally it was, just it was, like a, it was like a leash. I had a slinky, uh, but I lived in a trailer, so we had about three steps leading <laughs> up to the trailer. That was the extent. But of you, that. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I grew up in a um, like we traveled all the time, and we had to pull just a little. Just a, it was like a thirty-five foot, thirty-two foot uh, trailer. And so that's all we had, the little retractable steps and everything. Oh, yeah. Like that. But it was it was always interesting growing up because we have, uh, you just have to create games. And we got to the point where we literally were just collecting mud pies. <laughs> like we were just yeah. like, let it, we would let them cross and we design them and then we would just keep them. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> that's the good stuff, though, because you get creative. Right. Yeah. right. I, I, had a skate, I had a real skateboard and I lived in a trailer park on a dirt road. There was literally <laughs> nowhere to skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> I just Simple. had it in the trailer, just, like, try, just trying to do ollies what? in the driveway. Yeah. Like I, you couldn't even, you couldn't even, but it was just in there. You couldn't even do anything <laughs> with. It. Put your GI Joes on. It's like a boat. Did you feel cool though? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like getting somebody like pool noodles or something without a pool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Just some floaties. I live in Kansas. Yeah. Right. Well, what am I supposed figure to it do out. With this? <laughs> At least you can hit people with a pool. Noodle. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, you get creative though, like you said. There now it's a GI Joe uh, accessory yeah. at some point. Yeah, I get that. So you're into the eclipse right now. Is there anything else that is? Well, rec- I think the eclipse is wild, right? Because yeah. it's like in 2017 we had a solar eclipse. Mm-hmm. We don't have these a lot, as mm-hmm. far as I know. And then so like seven years later, we're having another solar eclipse, and then it's coming across America in a different way, making an X. And, uh, you know, they, like Old Testament prophecy, like when Joseph went into Egypt, 
uh, the king or the pharaoh had a, a dream for him to interpret, and it was like seven years of feast and then seven years of famine. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of interesting that like... It's been seven years since the last one. Yeah. Yeah. And like if we were living in a different time, like an eclipse like that would be a big deal to us. Yeah. Uh, because we would be... Uh, like cause It feels like people used to observe the times and the seasons with the sun and the stars and... Yeah moon and now we don't really do that we just let other people interpret everything for us yeah so it would be a big deal yeah and now we're getting another one uh and then it's like this is supposed to be going across all these cities named nineveh, nineveh. Yeah, yeah i saw that and then we're under apparently like a whale constellation i don't know all these things these are <laughs> things i hear yeah but it's like it just is like pretty wild and yeah you know of course uh, you know, people uh, are expecting maybe something will happen, but likely nothing happens when the eclipse comes. But maybe it's a warning, you know? Yeah. Maybe so, like people are like, if it goes mm. by and Monday's just a beautiful, peaceful day, everybody has their tourism day, and then we go, oh, that was fun. Then they go, see, idiots, nothing happened. But, but it maybe, could be like a year from now. Yeah. It's yeah. our warning, you yeah. know, like get it together. But we're just like, everything's just a party for us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're and like, if it doesn't happen drink. right now, yeah. then it's like, it's not real. We're like, do a shot every time there's an eclipse. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right. It's, the sun's covering it. Let's go. And it can't stand. You know? yeah. It's like, what are we doing? It's like, dude, this is going to be a five minute eclipse. <laughs> yeah. One dude's stuck upside down. Yeah. <laughs> You can't uh, stop. We I've, uh, we thought about it. I don't know if we talked about it on the pod, but like just the idea of seeing a solar eclipse like 300 years ago. Yeah, yeah. You know, 2,000 years ago. Like that. How terrifying that how would be. How scary yeah. oh, that yeah, whole yeah. ordeal must have been. It's like you're just in the middle Where of the Where is the sun? <laughs> Where? <laughs> Where'd it go? Why is it cold? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, they say people that like, like you know, like the Mayan calendar or something like people that could track that sort of thing. Like, yeah. like if you were a leader and you knew an eclipse was coming, like you could use you that. You could use to it for your people. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you could go. Man. If you don't do what I say, I'll block out the sun. <laughs> yeah. And Dude, then the sun is blocked. Why have I never thought about that? That was a, well, here, here's that's the a thing, scary too. tactic. It's just like <laughs> where like diving in deeper to that thought, like where would they have gotten that knowledge? And yeah. it seems like from everything that we've talked about and studied and stuff, like the fallen angels and stuff, like in the book mm. of Enoch, they talk about like they literally taught man the way the stars and everything works and oh, its yeah. rotation. So like if you could use that, yeah. if you taught that and like, well, you can use this to right. deceive more and more and more. You know, like, oh, totally. So it's just, that's just a wild thing to think about. It's an incredible manipulation tool. At that yeah. Point. Yeah, and even if they were they were getting visited by like this Alistair Crowley uh, demon, you know yeah. that sort of thing that gave them knowledge. Yeah, everybody thinks this is so crazy now, but it's like people like Alistair Crowley didn't think it was crazy. Yeah, yeah, you know, right. yeah. But we all think it's crazy that you know we're like potentially aliens could be real, but that someone would talk to a demon. They would give them hidden knowledge. Is like, oh, that's crazy. What are you? Yeah, some kind of weirdo. And it's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, I don't know. Maybe there's more to reality than just everything. Yeah, you see and touch. I think yeah. so. I do picture though when you say that, like the Mayan rule, like leader coming out and being like, "Well, you didn't do what I said. Check this out, dude." And he was like a day off. Like the, like the <laughs> science guy was a day off, and he was like. Okay, tomorrow we're going to come back same time. <laughs> you just wait. And you better get yeah. it together or we're doing this again. I, and he, he does it like two or three days. Well, that, that sure would be that, me as a king, for, but I would do it for six months straight. I'm like, you know what? Just whatever. <laughs> just do whatever you want. I'm sure it happened. And then they probably killed that guy. That guy died. <laughs> yeah. That guy died. And then He's the not. next day, the sun got blocked out and they were like, oh, no, we no. shouldn't have killed that guy. <laughs> he was only a day <laughs> off. We're sorry. <laughs> Is he like super dead? Can we go check on him? How thorough were we on that one? Well, that Apple thing is weird though. Like with that, it could just be like you can turn anything to whatever. But like the fact that like no one looks at the sky anymore. Like because oh, we're yeah. always just like looking at our phones and like you're so distracted yeah. by like everything that's happening on your phone and whatnot. It's just like I wonder if that was in fact a tool to be like, hey, don't look up. And that may not have been the reason. Like uh, the, 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 the saying it's like an, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It may not have been yeah. the original intent, but it's like the powers that be will use anything they can for control or for evil, and 
And so it's like, why not? Like, it's like the old that. Mayans, Mayan dudes where they, they knew that the eclipse was going to happen. Yeah. yeah. And now it's like, use a phone and it's like, hey, I don't, my, I'm trying to make this connection. I'm, this, this is all new stuff. But what but, you said you know. about like how they got that knowledge, like that when we were talking about, when you we were talking about the Mayan calendars, like how did anyone ever just start like, we're going to start tracking this stuff. Like, is like, I, I know there's yeah. different people that have different curiosities, but it's just, I know. That's such a crazy, complicated thing to have so early on in our history. Right. But, well, the Mayans, maybe, I just, maybe I'm just ignorant to it, but, but the, imagine you got no TV. That's no what I'm saying. Video games. That's no what I'm saying. Cell phones. Right. You know? And you're just like, all day, you're like, what, what am I going to do? What's out there? And so you're like, I mean, yeah. the stars would be pretty entertaining. Yeah. Back then. Dude, I think. I'm going to start a comedy podcast about ants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think John Mulaney had a bit about it, but it it's me every time. Just like to put all that into perspective, that people used to wave at boats. Like that was an event. <laughs> Let's go yeah. down and wave they, at the boat, kids. They were kids. so deprived of entertainment. <laughs> like, well, even when I was a kid, like, you know, we had video games. Like, I, you know, I had regular Nintendo, Super nintendo but when they would like pave in the, i have a video of them paving the road in front of my dad's house just repaving it it wasn't a dirt road that yeah. they paved and we're out there me and my stepbrothers in lawn chairs watching <laughs> them pave the road <laughs> because this power equipment was so entertaining yes yeah. That's awesome. No, but now I can just type in power equipment on, on YouTube <laughs> and watch it all day if I want. Dude. Yeah. And oh. now you're desensitized. Now you need to get bigger and better <laughs> yeah, roads. Yeah. I need bigger roads. <laughs> yeah. Bigger trucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, that was like, that was your gateway. He's in the room. He's shutting it when the family comes in. <laughs> it's an eight lane interstate. <laughs> I'm, I got it under control. <laughs> hey, honey, are you busy? Why's the door locked? Get out. I'll be out in a second. No, but you do. I feel like, I don't know if this is your experience, like, and I, having kids brings me back to that some of it before we let them have like technology and stuff. We did the garbage truck like every time it came oh, by. Yeah. And I'm out there with my kid going, like, that is a fascinating machine I've never stopped to look yeah. at. Oh, yeah. You got this arm and the guy, Dude, how it all we works. We used to know together. their names, the garbage men. Yeah. Like, we used to, like, like, hey, Bill or whatever. I forget his name now, but, you know, but <laughs> yeah. like, like, you became like, the, that was like your entertainment right. for the one day a week or whatever. Yeah. And it really is like, like that's a fact. I don't know. You're just not paying attention. I don't want to go like insane clown posse and say miracles are all around us, but <laughs> there truly is. How do like magnets work? Though, you know what I, mean? <laughs> I don't think <laughs> magnets are real. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> I think they're making that up. How do they work? But you, tr when, when I had, when we had a little kid that wasn't on a screen and so he's, filling his day he thinks everything's interesting it does like a little bit you're like yeah more stuff's interesting than i like have yeah i've stopped sort of realizing how cool this stuff all is yeah dude the first time i ever saw the arm on a dump truck <laughs> was crazy yeah that was a full-grown adult like i had never seen one <laughs> oh, like the and one that lifts the, the one that yeah the one comes out oh. and literally grabs the trash can it's oh, so violently oh. and just <laughs> <laughs> you're mine. <laughs> Do you guys ever like take your recycle bin and your trash can and just see how close you can get them oh, to see dude. how accurate that dude can be? And they're like clock? they're very passive aggressive. Like don't ever put them that close ever again. <laughs> I put them ten feet apart, dude. There's like there's no way they're ever come in contact. No, I've been doing that. I've been I doing put like mine that. in the same can. <laughs> <laughs> just take you're this rushing, recycling bin away. Recycling's from you. not real. You're rushing the recycling dolls. is definitely not real. I believe that for sure. Like oh yeah yeah yeah. There's takes, no way. I mean, that, no way. that's not even a conspiracy. They've like yeah. just no. They say like ninety, people. like ninety nine percent of like what you recycle just ends up in the landmine. Yeah. Land they mine? say that in the a landfill. Landfill. <laughs> landfill. I said <laughs> we're a landmine. Dude, I would. <laughs> it's heard. funding the war. Whoa. For recycling. <laughs> if we started throwing our recycling in a landmine, <laughs> I would actually start recycling. Like I would legit. I would save the planet. Just pull dude. up a lawn chair and watch them blow it all <laughs> up. It's a coke can. <laughs> Yeah, if space were orbit. real, we <laughs> could just launch all our trash to space. That's so hey. true. And that would, why wouldn't we do that? That would be so fun. That's actually a really <laughs> good point. <laughs> just shoot it out. No. Everybody goes, it'd be too expensive. But I think, no, I think it'd be. We're sending dogs to space. Yeah, it'd be the way to go. Yeah. Just do uh, trash. Cosmo. We'd, we'd be, we would be going back to the 1920s waving at boats. We'd just go down and wave at the space <laughs> rocket, the junk <laughs> rocket. Oh, ah! yeah. Space trash. <laughs> the junk, space trash. Yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. take this to Shark Tank. I think there's something here. <laughs> That's aliens that live in a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> space trash. <laughs> <laughs> we do we help like develop a species of like redneck aliens yeah. by our trash piles <laughs> that would be that's 
But then, blowing trash up would be fun. I heard that in India they were letting pigs eat all their trash, mm-hmm. but then somehow they animal rights people stopped that. But I'm like, if the pig likes it, let, <laughs> it, eat it. <laughs> Stop. let them have at it. Yeah. Hey, put the plastic over here. Put the other food. Yeah, the pigs if were. They s- choose that, then that's fine. <laughs> pigs were so ticked after that came down. <laughs> Stop talking for us, please. <laughs> oh yeah, we were doing fine. All Can the you pigs. give me, please, give me a carton? I just want to chew on an acorn. We just right love now. you so much, pigs. <laughs> Leave all, me alone. All those pigs are now dead. <laughs> yeah, probably. So. It, that what, doesn't what bother. But like in Texas, they said like pigs are real problems, right? So like, what if they just let them loose in a big landfill and then if yeah. they died, you know? Yeah, no put up a deal. big fence. Yeah. No, that's a good point. Yeah, because Texas loose. loves building walls. Like build one around the <laughs> build around. the pig. Just build all get yeah. all the pigs in there. And then you do the helicopter rides too, where you know, with the machine guns or the government. And see how crazy kind of the pigs could get. I mean, maybe they're eating and they're like getting real mutant pigs. Just like yeah. apocalyptic pigs. And then it is helicopter rides around. You're like, look at those mutant pigs. And all the all the police officers, they like they just um, take all their storage, all the drugs that they've confiscated, they just dump them. Oh in. Just, yeah, we just have these war <laughs> pigs breathing. And so, and then you tell people that there's drugs in there, so they go to get them. And then, and then you, and you a, just live stream yeah. it. Live stream it. Yeah. 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 We're, this is a money maker and we're saving the planet. Hey, yeah. Shark Tank. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're seeking. Yeah. What All you, the what fentanyl you, is in the middle of the thing. <laughs> you got to get it. If you want it, go right. get it. Yeah. <laughs> just just Col- a coliseum. A, just an open coliseum. Like whenever you want, you have to schedule your time to go in or whatever. Yeah. Only primal weapons. Yeah. What and you, it's not even illegal to do the drugs if you get them from the <laughs> yeah. landfill. You get, yeah, you get, afterwards you exit, they'll give you a tag, and you're like, you got a permit, you're fine, you're good to go. Yeah. Then when it stops you, you just show them this. <laughs> give me a I wrist. went to Pig City. <laughs> they got a lot of tusk wounds. <laughs> <laughs> what a sport, man. <laughs> yeah. That'd be incredible. Oh, uh, but speaking of pigs, Andy. Really? Yeah. What do you mean? So, um, <laughs> we got an ad, don't go anywhere! Hey guys, we're going to get back to the show in just a second, but listen, we need you to go to sundaycoolswag.com to get your brand new ninja merch, all right? Bigfoot versus Godzilla. It's absolutely beautiful, and you got to get it now because uh, only available for a limited time. Also, um, you need to go and check out Mr. Anthony Russo. You love Anthony. Ding! Look at him right there. That's a shirtless picture of him. We took him while he was changing on the couch. <laughs> Um, you need to go to his uh, Instagram. Make sure you are following him. The Bible is funny on Instagram. He posts hilarious content consistently, and it's all about the Bible. It's beautiful. It's wholesome. It's good. And also, if you go to Amazon, you type in the Bible is funny game. Guess what? You can also purchase his game. Support Anthony. You're going to love it. You're going to love his stuff. So make sure you go check that out. Also, Dusty, any final words? Maybe way down yonder, a Chattahoochee. Where it gets hotter than a... Coochie coochie, that's right. All right, thanks, Dusty. Back to the show. Do what? Like swallowing sound when he <laughs> drinks. He's like, can you just back up from the mic? <laughs> yep. Really annoying. There's one episode where I ate sunflower seeds the whole time, but oh, completely no. unaware of dude. The f- people were like, <laughs> "Can we? Can the guy stop chewing?" Sunflower <laughs> seeds on the microphone, I about please. got fired. <laughs> oh, wasn't Did I you, great though? I had a, I had a good time. I, I I really appreciated that ad. It lifted my spirits. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. What Dusty said, very profound knowledge it almost sounded like poetry yeah that's what i thought yeah i blacked out i don't remember <laughs> anything that happened <laughs> should we have dusty tell his story yeah i don't know what the story is no the the, the story that we want to ask him the poop story oh yes so, so we have that we have a thing okay that we have forgotten to do a lot lately with yeah. guests we always want to hear from our guests your most epic crazy poop story it could be your personal or just one you involved in or touched by. <laughs> well, I don't, you know, I never really think too much about uh, a poop story. I don't, I mean, I've had food poisoning a couple of times, but I don't know that th- those were all that exciting. Yeah. Um, I had Whataburger one time that I think <laughs> ruined my entire digestive system for still even to this day. And I right after I had a one of the largest poops I've ever had. And I thought, at first I thought, well, this is great. This has really helped me. <laughs> really cleared me out. 
but then I started to feel real bad, and I'm I am not a supporter of Whataburger. Uh, <laughs> I'm going on the record. People in Texas get really upset with me about it, but then other realistic people say that Whataburger sold out to a company from Chicago a few years ago, and it's not been the same since. Interesting, mm -hmm. wow. and it's not good. I mean, I don't know what your your stances are on it. So you know. I don't even like their burgers. I, I the only thing I've ever gotten there was the chicken tender with the Texas toast. It's a sandwich, and it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. But I'm Pe sure their burgers are average. that honey butter chicken biscuit is something that a lot of people die for. I've That's never had it. Whataburger. I'm not yeah. a biscuit guy. Oh, see, this is no all, business. yeah, all not burger thing. That's what I <laughs> yeah. It's like if your best items are not the thing you're known for, right. Right. like what a burger, like what about those biscuits? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, you're, if, you're restaurant, <laughs> if your restaurant is literally the name of, like, of an exclamation of about right. one of your foods, like what a burger. Right. Oh, yeah. It's like you should be shouting. You should be hearing people shout that Right. if it's that good. Yeah. It's not. I used to work at Red Lobster, but a lot of people came for the shrimp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got any answers to that, Red Lobster? <laughs> I didn't think so. That's my beef with chilies. I thought it was like a chili spot. The first yeah. Time Dude, even uh, chili, chili at chili's chilies? changed. Like, I remember back in the day. <laughs> the pain in that, by the way. <laughs> no, because it, it was like. Because you live right it was, next it was to a chili. Real Tex Mex. Yeah. Like, it was like pretty good, I yeah. thought. Yeah. But now it's just all frozen. All that's all those places like that change. Yeah, Ruby Tuesdays, Applebee's, like yeah. Olive I Garden mean, was. I'm like, You're make, going to Italy. I make <laughs> when you're there, your family. I make fun of uh, uh, Applebee's. Everybody does, but back in the day, I mean, I took a couple of dates there on Applebee's. Dude, oh yeah. man, and Veggie Patch Pizza used to hit from Applebee's. I don't know if anybody ever tasted that. Dude, we would be Veggie so pack. psyched when we got our table picked and we got to go on the upper level at oh Apple yeah Beats. Oh, it's like big time royalty yeah <laughs> like it was like especially when you got on the you booth side and you like, look down at the people below you, you're just like because <laughs> you ate your half price apps yeah <laughs> but you know i mean i ha i went to portland maine uh to do some comedy and i'm not a big shorts guy i don't wear a lot of shorts but mm -hmm. this it was a little hot i was out i wanted to go walk around the city and i went and ate at this diner and then i went for a walk and I had, I suddenly, I mean, it hit me. Like I needed to, I needed to poop. <laughs> and I couldn't find a place. I got a thing like on the road, I'll pull into a hotel if I need to and just pretend like I'm staying there. Yeah. And I'll just go. But I went to a hotel there and they had, uh, you know, had to be a key card entry to get into the, and I was like, I walked in like I knew what I was doing and then I had to walk right out of there and I, I felt so ashamed <laughs> and you still had to poop yeah so and I like, just I had shame and poop and it, it kind of like went away for a minute and uh -huh. I went into a dispensary and I thought well I'll go in there maybe I'll find a bathroom and then I couldn't find one in there and it was just one of those days and I was just like I don't know I felt weird in the city and I didn't want to ask people for a bathroom yeah and I kept walking and I just thought I thought this is going to be a loose poop <laughs> and I'm like <laughs> If this happens out here on the, I got a show tonight. And if this happens out here on the street, I mean, it's coming down my legs. <laughs> and I, it got so bad, I had to lean up against a building for a minute. I was just like, I gotta, I can't keep moving. Yeah. You gotta breathe it out. Yeah. 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 And I was you pretty sweating and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and I was yeah. pretty far from my hotel. And then I was like, I finally found this like tourist like information desk. And I just went up to that lady, basically like hat in hand. I was like, <laughs> I need some help. I was like, <laughs> Oliver all Twist? Yeah. Please, yeah. please. I was like, I need a bathroom <laughs> so bad. And she pointed to this coffee shop. She goes, I think they got one in there. They don't, <gasps> and they don't really care if you use that. So I went in there, and then there was a line. <sighs> And then a line started to form even behind me, <laughs> and I eventually made it in, and all was fine. I got, you know, I got relieved of it all, but uh, normally if I use someone's bathroom, I'll buy something just yeah. to be yeah, like, sure. I appreciate you letting me use the bathroom, but, <laughs> you did. but I was like, there's people behind me in line, they got to come in after me, and I'm like, I'm going to go ahead and just get out of here. You got to leave the crime scene. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I, it was, I don't know what happened. I don't know if I can blame the diner, but it was, oh man, it no. was. So you you could blame it on you. You got too far away from the hotel. Yeah, that that's is the, true. That's, that's why you true. stay at the hotel. I, I had to go get back. back to the hotel. Yeah, you're absolutely <laughs> we're, right. We're that is why yeah. you're subconsciously you're like, I don't know why I need too to stay far. at the hotel. It's like that's why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a big moment of realization. Yeah, is that where <laughs> this is like special. the fear? 
Well, I never put that connection together, but I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. no problem. Yeah, too you, much. It's time. Maybe, maybe it's the therapy couch that's bringing it out in me, but <laughs> yeah, too much time. So let's get what, let's get to the root let's of get this. to the source. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I be. I did the tourist lady in that story. She had a bathroom. <laughs> Gare, that she, she may didn't have. let you use. She was pretty nice though, and I I because I was like I don't know. I just feel like sometimes when I'm in certain cities, they're gonna be all weird about a bathroom. Yeah. Um, Especially but, a tourist city. Like, yeah. if there's a tourism, like, they'll probably get that question all the time. But I can't understand how tourist cities like that don't just have some bathrooms. Yeah. Out. Like, yes. let people hit a bathroom. Don't yeah. be so weird about it. I get it. You know, you don't want homeless people in there, like, you know, doing drugs in the bathroom, but it's like, let, yeah. us, let us use the bathroom <laughs> yeah. out here. Yeah, it's a necessity. Yeah. Be, be, this happens. Right. Make I, it more convenient. That should be like a competition competition between cities. Yeah. Like who has the best outdoor bathrooms? Even, right now. you know, charge me a dollar. Put a credit card machine out there. Sure. Yeah, I would pay the for, parking. Yeah. Now that's a great idea. For What's a, your limit, yeah. though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your limit? That <laughs> day, 20 bucks, I think. <laughs> I don't know. That's, <laughs> that's the thing. I might have paid 50. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that Neuralink, is, that's how they're going to charge us. They're going to have, we're all going to have Neuralink and they're going to register like, this guy's got to poop. Yeah. <laughs> Look up. The toll just got higher. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You have to get 20 bucks. It's the surge, oh, surge, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Surge, yeah. yeah like, the, like the Uber Eats <laughs> yeah, or yeah. whatever. They, uh, the, the one I struggle with now, we're in this, we're dealing with this in the family, is the the, the ball field bathrooms. Like, th those are violent. I don't know if you've ever been to Oh, wait, like with the wreck. trough? No, no, like I'm talking a little league uh, bathroom. Oh, okay. <laughs> it yeah. is, you really do some Well, you bad. mean they're really dirty in there? It, I don't even, dirty's not strong enough a word. I don't know what. It's like because dirtying mix. like mentions like assumes that it's, it was clean at one point. It's like uh, everything's broken. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's it's alarming. It's like so what, I the metal mirror. Yes, you it's guys a, should you get should get a fundraiser going and get that worked out. It's <laughs> I, and it's just <laughs> Anthony. I'm, what are you doing? I'm coaching there. I got my kid there. I feel like, like if you if other people are noticing that and you pull that together and you go, hey, I'm just gonna try to raise some funds to get this bathroom <laughs> system worked out. I think people would go. You know what? <laughs> That's Sometimes a worthy I, cause. Yeah, they like yeah. I hold it the whole time, so I don't have to go. <laughs> just That's sell a real some, thing. I yeah. think people are doing because just sell some sketchy like chili dogs <laughs> at a game. And oh, then have yeah. the meeting after everyone will. Wouldn't it yeah. be nice? Yeah, that wouldn't it be nice? You have right yeah. now. Wouldn't it be nice? If there was, yeah. Do you have a Do you have a spot on a road trip that you'll hold out for a certain brand of gas station? Oh, you know that's interesting. We talked about this a little before, but yeah. I like a Loves. I'm yeah. a big fan of a Loves truck stop. And this is why, even if the Lo Loves is because I've seen this a couple of times, even if they're renovating and repairing the bathroom, with the they'll, tarp, <laughs> they'll put uh, trailers like like portable. Uh, you know, not a not a individual yeah, what do you yeah, call yeah. porta potty. They'll yeah, do a yeah. full trailer yeah. of bathrooms. Like they're all about it. It's like there's nothing like pulling off at some random gas station and they go, Oh, we don't have a bathroom here. They give you the key like on a plunger. The key is Or or yeah. they don't or they tell you yeah. they don't have one. They don't yeah. have one. Like, give me the key. I'll take the <laughs> plunger, I'll take the whole thing. Whatever you got. But sometimes they'll be like, We don't have a bathroom and it's like, Well, what are you using? Yeah, you know exactly. what I mean? <laughs> yeah, for real. Let me hang out here for a while and I'll see where you go. <laughs> yeah. But it's like Loves always has a bathroom. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now I haven't a new, like Everybody loves Bucky's now. Bucky's is like people are going nuts for Bucky's, and I'm and yeah, it's yeah. fun, it's nice, but I don't get it. It's like they've just created a tourist destination out Amen. of a gas station. Yeah, it's not, yeah. and it's not an everyday stop kind of place. Yeah, like special occasions, like anniversaries or something. But you know? yeah. <laughs> their bathrooms are unbelievable. Next they're level. really nice because they're like th there's a person constantly doing it, right? Like they're like there's yeah, no they're, they're, I mean there's like a full staff yeah the bathroom is just like clean. Sometimes you have to and park a half mile away. It's right. like, uh, that's yeah, yeah. my thing. Like I'll I'll pull over at a sketchy gas station and do my work if it means I can get back on the road in about thirty seconds. Yeah, because we stopped uh, at one on the way up and it was eight thirty in the morning and there had to have been. 2,000 people there. Yeah. I mean, it was just... Out of Bucky's? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Nuts. I've peed behind a gas station many times. <laughs> so oh, you yeah, tell dude. me you don't have a bathroom, I go, I'm going to well, pee on your I'll dumpster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which one's your car? <laughs> I'm going to find I'm gonna find the, the security camera and be like... The necessity is the mother of invention. I pee outside so much because I, I like cigars, you know? Yeah. And I'll be having a cigar and I'll have to pee and I'm like, yeah. I don't want to just leave my cigar, Fair. you know? Like, especially if I'm alone... So I just, I mean, I'm peeing in the bus bushes of yeah. hotels all yeah. over the country out here. I mean, that's so funny. You need to but, get like a, like a, just a, 
a marker or something. Yeah, like I'm D- teaching. Dusty's pee was here. Or something. <laughs> oh yeah, like, yeah, just like just like a, a like retro cash. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> put some more having a good time stickers. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, loves. I think the problem is, is they got no good food options. Yeah, it's yeah. It's always a McDonald's or a Subway yeah, or, like or Arby's or their hot dogs. Yeah, yeah. I'm a. I, if I had to choose, I'm a QT guy. I, I like, like a QT. QT. Quick trip. Yeah. My yeah. friend Will O'Donnell and comedian out of St. Louis has a great Quick Trip bit. He has a whole five or six minute really? bit about Quick Trip. He loves the Quick Trip. That's so funny. But it's like loves is like I don't know. Bathrooms are, are the king. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, a lot of truck drivers in there blowing it <laughs> up. Yeah, like like it's their job. Sometimes I'm like, I wish I was at a ball field right now. <laughs> 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 Where does uh, Flying J? Go on the list. Oh, Flying J is good. Flying J, The Traveler's Rest. Yeah. Uh, and um, um, there's one more. But sometimes, uh, you know, I don't know where Flying J's at. They're they're out somewhere out west or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't see a lot of them. But yeah, uh, I like to say I love a loves. Loves I know, is great. I, I struggle with, you're going back to the Bucky's. Like people wear Bucky's swag. Oh, they're yeah. Like Bucky's shirt. Dude, it's wild. Amazing what they've done for a gas station with like, marketing and stuff. If I, you mention Bucky's on stage as a comic, people go nuts. Yeah. I'm it's, like, oh, no, I was about to criticize them for yeah, a while. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Wait for the joke. <laughs> we have a, our family has a terrible Bucky story. We were, I made, I'd never been to one. And, and my oldest really had to go to the bathroom. And we, you know, they, I don't know if they do this everywhere, but they do the big signs, like 10 miles to Bucky's. Oh, yeah. Five oh, yeah. miles to Bucky's. There's some that are like 100 miles. Yeah, 174 it's, miles. That's where it yeah. started. And I was like timing it up with the gas. And I'm like, this will, we can make this work if you can hold, you're going to the bathroom for yeah. a and he was like, I think I can make it. And so we go, and the gas was cheaper, I found out, which was kind of cool or whatever. He walked in, and there was a there was a pronounced brisket smell in there. Yeah. And I don't know in if In the bathroom or the bucket? In the bucket. He's okay. like, when you cross the threshold. <laughs> yeah. Bathroom yeah. would be boring. So so I'm like, the I'm, truckers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty hyped. I've never done this before. I'm a little bit of a hype, like, oh, I want to see what it's about. But, dude, we walk in, and he smelled the, the brisket and threw up on everything. Oh, no. Like, broke the threshold, and he was like, Dad, I just, like, that smell hit me, and no I way. lost it. Yeah, we found out he gets car sick. So, that was, um, <laughs> that was a And day he hates we, brisket. We discovered that. <laughs> that is a weird road trip food. I also like yeah, that your son uh, you, is revealed that he needed to go to the bathroom to throw up. <laughs> right. You're like, can you hold it? We got a Bucky's at a hundred miles. <laughs> I'm tired. Swallow it, buddy. I, I Swallow think it. So. so. <laughs> I'll try. I'm Do breathing exercises. And swallowing it. Passing. <laughs> these passing darn it. gentle parents are ruining these kids. <laughs> I don't want my dad to be mad at me. Hold it. it. <laughs> Come on! It's always make them feel guilty. All the medical sick. ailments they're asking to go to the bathroom for. You can wait. There's a Bucky's just ahead, and they have salted almonds. <laughs> I think before too long, they're going to have, like, golf cart people picking people up in the parking lot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, at, oh, big, like big Dude, churches? They're, they're oh, turning, yeah. They're, they're turning into Disney. Directing traffic. Yeah, yeah, you're going to get the app and get your yeah. like, fast the, pass. You're going to do, like, the queue. Yeah. They'll, they'll, yeah. they'll have a drive through at one point, probably, like, another building. There'll be a on. chapel. Bucky will be doing a sermon. <laughs> Dude, you get married at Bucky's? <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. That's yeah. A there has to have already been a Bucky's wedding. Oh, Guys, yeah, definitely. Th- this and Pig City, we have to make <laughs> these things happen. I saw a landmine. I was in a Lowe's and I saw a lady. She was wearing a Bucky shirt. She encountered another person wearing a Bucky shirt and they go, Bucky's. And then they like <laughs> cheered a little bit with each other. And I'm like, geez, guys, it's a gas station. It That's what is. It's a weird thing to bond I don't, over. I don't get it either. I, I'm, it's just, it's too much. Like, like yeah. I get, even with sports stuff, right? It's like a silly game that other people play and you're bonding over it. But yeah. like gas station, people are Wawa dedicated near me. And I'm just like, like um, people swear by Wawa sandwiches. I may have even talked about this with you guys before. No, but, but I'm it's, like, it's not that great. I mean, they're like, it's okay. I, I literally, the exchange was, have you ever had a Wawa sandwich? Like, Wawa sandwiches are so good. And my follow-up was like, have you had a sandwich like anywhere else? <laughs> right. <laughs> Is my question. So, we're, so you had yeah. your first sandwich there. Where are you going to go next? Right. <laughs> like, have you had a public sandwich? <laughs> have you had a Subway? Like, I think that like, like maybe at one point, the Wawa sandwich was like amazing, right? And then like, and then it stopped being. Like and a then people just It got Whataburger. Yeah. yeah. And they just live in their mind that it's always the best. Right. Mm. Because they're scared. <laughs> Deep down. 
that what they know they really love isn't actually what it is. Is this yeah. the beginning yeah. of your Bucky's yeah, sermon? Yeah, I think so, guys. <laughs> You're delivering? I'm halfway through the Bucky's sermon. I've got it like... We walked up to the statue yesterday, and there he, Josh is like, why does that look just like you, Andy? And I'm like, what? It's, like, it's a flat bill, this beaver. <laughs> it's a beaver, right? Yeah, yeah it's a beaver. He's wearing it, and it looked just like Andy. <laughs> I have the clip. I was walking behind with the camera. It looks like Andy. It doesn't look like me. How does this look? Hey. It does. Can I, I can feel it. Yeah, it's like, you know, then people will be picketing outside of Love's, like Bucky's people. <laughs> That's what they're doing. I see them opening <laughs> Bucky's across from Loves. It's like, don't try to. Yeah. Loves has been there for us yeah. Yeah. for a long time. It's the reason why it's called Loves. Yeah. And it then never ends. Yeah. Are you guys having the chicken tender wars where you're at too? Where like a PDQ will open across from a Raising Cane's, will open across from a Chick fil A? Oh, uh, no, we're not having that where we're at. But where I'm living, they're opening like four, and it's like a Hunger Games to see which one of these franchises yeah. Yeah. makes it here. We live in peaceful communities. We do. <laughs> Tampa is a. Tampa's a violent. Is a violent. We are raised by pirates. Yeah. So we. It's Pig City, and then it's Tampa <laughs> as far as craziness. <laughs> About chaos. So if you knew nothing about Tampa, but like you grew up playing Tony Hawk Underground, mm -hmm. Tampa, you'd be like, I'm so scared to go to Tampa. <laughs> what happens in Tony Hawk Underground? Oh, it's Tampa. bad. It's a well, you know, one time I was in Tampa. I used to drive to Tampa to do comedy, uh -huh. and uh, we were like driving around, like, and we like took a wrong turn down this street, and I've never. My, my wife's from Canada, so she doesn't see a lot of America. <laughs> now she has now, but right. at the time. Yeah, yeah. But we took a wrong turn, and it was like, I don't know. It was just like one little side street, and the, the had two or three dumpsters that looked like they had not been emptied in weeks. It was just <laughs> piled up. People were everywhere out there. My wife was like, get out of here. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> I'm scared. And I was kind of freaked out, too. And I mean, and I've been to a lot of places yeah, in yeah. America. And I was like, whoa, this is this was wild what just happened. Uh -huh. yeah. But it's gotten better. <laughs> <You're thinking>, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> that's, that's we made an impression that's, that's on I mean, home. I've been to Tampa a bunch. I love Tampa. Tampa's but great. I'm like, this was... I know. I think you're going to Tampa Theater. Yeah. I saw. I've been doing side splitters for years, which I love that club. Yeah. But yeah, I'm doing the Tampa Theater coming up. That's like my favorite venue in our area. I, okay. I don't mean to just like hype your shows coming no, up. No, I appreciate how, it. How I are you... I love that venue. Just a quick question about it. I'm curious, like, how is it like transitioning from like a club to going to being a regular at theaters now? Well, at first, I didn't really want to do it. I was yeah. like, I love clubs. I don't want to do theaters. And yeah. then I did a couple, and I was like, oh, this is a lot better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've done, have you done the Ryman? Uh, not alone. I've okay. done the Ryman. Like, I did the Grand Old Opry at the Ryman. I've done Open for Kathleen Madigan. I did the Kid Rock's Comedy Jam last year. Oh, Were wow. you, and uh, I just a little a creeper, because I read uh, facts about you. But, like, when you're, like, the... Uh, <laughs> that, this, the I, I'm excited the, about the, this question. question. Hey. The youngest comedian to perform at the Opry? I was at the time yeah and then aaron right aaron weber yeah, yeah is now younger than me but we still push that line out there that's cool we don't that's, abandon yeah. it yeah it's that's like, so fun yeah you know, they always say never let facts ruin a good story yeah that's, exactly. yeah. that's right yeah we're telling a story here <laughs> yeah yeah we're trying uh, to sell tickets well yeah. how's, how's life been after the uh netflix stuff I mean, it's it's great. I mean, it like immediately changed. Like they say, sometimes they they were telling me it takes three months to really see the full effects yeah. of what Netflix has done for you. But it's like I've been doing shows in Huntsville, Alabama, for years. Never sold out a show. Uh, like the week after Netflix came out, I did Huntsville. I sold out three of the five shows. No way. Yeah, it's wow. Like, it's pretty wild. I just, I mean, I've been there was this one club I kept doing in Atlanta for years and years, and like. Some of those shows would be practically empty, and I, I pretty, I came pretty close to selling out an eighteen hundred seat theater this past weekend. That's so right. wow, so awesome. Yeah, it's so wild, and it's like, yeah, it's great. I mean, people are. I come out, I say we're having a good time, and they cheer. <laughs> I mean, I've said that for a long yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. and I kind of started saying it during shows that weren't going well. Yeah. Wait, so when you're bombing? <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, That's you're just kind of like, yeah, all right, we're having a good time. <laughs> but that probably gets a laugh, though. Yeah. It, yeah, it, it does, turns yeah. it around. It becomes yeah. like a self-talk. Wow. I love that. Yeah, and that's yeah. where the wave came from, too, where it's kind of like I say I wave when the joke is over just to let you know that joke's over, you know? And it's like, so I would do that on these bad shows. Yeah. yeah. I'd go, we're having a good time. I, I and it like starts to get people into it. Yeah. 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 I felt like when we watched you at Zany's, you did. Uh, I didn't. I don't know if you do it intentionally as far as, far as the like the frequent amount of times, but it felt like at the beginning there was a lot of it, and then 
you did it less frequently as the show goes along. And so whenever you did do it, it was just, it was even a bigger laugh, I feel like. Yeah, oh, like yeah. It's like yeah. A, the shock value. Yeah, it was just yeah, like, yeah. oh, there it is again. Yeah. I don't know what happens <laughs> so, at the beginning of my shows, but it's like, <laughs> it's just so weird to come out. I, like, I don't, like when I was featuring, I like to come out and do a joke real quick because people weren't there for me. You know, yeah, so yeah. I wanted to like let them know that I was going to be funny. Right. Yeah. But now that I'm headlining, it feels weird to just come out and just start doing jokes. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. like and not to just acknowledge it or. you know. Yeah. So I'm like, let's you know, I get out there. But then I just sometimes I'll watch my videos after a weekend. I'm like, geez, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 That's great. Oh, oh man. So yeah. You, you know that we've met before, right? Yeah. 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 I remember you guys being at the. At the show. Do you actually remember? I do remember. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. That was such a fun night. We were I mean, we are pretty like And I yeah, also I mean, like follow you deal. on TikTok. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, yeah. I'm a yeah. fan of the yeah. podcast. Yeah. I That's mean, it's, cool. I it's, do a lot of podcasts that like my management sets up, but I wanted to do this podcast. Thanks, man. Oh because yeah. it goes Opry, Fallon, Netflix. Ninjas of Ninjas. Netflix. Exactly. Yeah. In that order. That <laughs> yeah, is that how is, it went. That's yeah. the ranking. I had to do Netflix to get to do Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> we, got, we answered a phone like, oh, he's done a Netflix special now? Okay, cool. Box to look, check. Look at, right. <laughs> I was telling them before, like, they get recognized and they're so recognizable. Our mm -hmm. maintenance man for the Airbnb. <laughs> we got, we pulled in the other night. What is it? Three floors up? Yeah. Opens the window like it's Mr. Rogers. He just leans like, fully <laughs> Hey. <laughs> You guys have the, the the show, and we're like, yeah. And he's like, I love it. And then he's like, What's it called? <laughs> he's like, calls him out. Well, don't do that. <laughs> he said, Well, um, um. And you're like, It's ninjas. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and so, um, maintenance guy, he has all the keys. So like, we, yeah. I, I was pretty sketched last night. I'm just like, <laughs> you put up yeah. the four o'clock in the morning. Okay, so because I'm we're like. Andrew said, like, maintenance guy, he has the keys to everything. I'm just yeah, thinking, like, this true. dude, he knows us. And so at night, I, I, I swear I heard someone walking in my room. And there's an important detail that helps explain why you're so nervous. What is that? How you sleep. Oh, just my night terrors? No, <laughs> your attire. He doesn't wear anything. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that scares you though. I think that no, <laughs> that brings the Viking out of you. There's a burglar in the <laughs> that house. That might ah! scare the yeah. That might scare the guy breaking yeah, yeah, yeah. in. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, or make him laugh. You know, you never there was, know. There's a guy. Or <laughs> yeah, or that's why he's breaking in. Yeah. Um. But anyways, <laughs> the door didn't lock, so I set up like a uh home alone trap on the door at four in the morning, <laughs> just in case. We, just in case. We still haven't found <laughs> a that tarantula. <laughs> Wherever that is at this point. The what? The tarantula that was involved. Oh, yeah, yeah. Still running around somewhere. Yeah. I went to Hobby Lobby and got some uh, Christmas ornaments and broke <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> along my door. But you three are like very, rec you have like a very distinct look. Yeah. And I was telling them my experience is like people think they know me, but I just look like some white ball guy that they know at their hometown. Oh, yeah. And they're like, don't I know you from somewhere? I'm like, no, we, we've we never met. I'm just well, very <laughs> vanilla looking. Well, that is the weirdest thing where people will go. Like I had a guy at, at the airport go, are you a famous comedian? And I go, well, if I was really that famous, you wouldn't be asking <laughs> that question. <laughs> I was like, I'm a comedian. Yeah, yeah. The famous part's debatable. Right. I realize I have no personal brand watching the Kung Fu movie behind us yeah you're i'm like every one of these characters at some point in my it's life. the hair yeah and yeah, the I don't only know. facial that's hair it. i can that's grow <laughs> so, yeah you guys i'm telling you you should walk a mile in my shoes and just have not one distinguishing feature <laughs> i've got a similar facial hair thing it's weaker here i got a strong mustache and, and goatee bro i shave this so many times and this is going on like four years wow whoa that's real no <laughs> you know i you know it's like it's like i said that about you know joe dirt says that he goes you know he's like i don't need to shave it it just grows in like that yeah you know you, have you seen the movie yeah, yeah. oh yeah because <laughs> <laughs> he says you're so ingrained with white trash dna that your hair grows your hair in. Just grows he goes in. i don't know what you're saying but yeah that's what's happening <laughs> I've quoted that movie too many times in my life. It's hey, so good. Life's a garden, dig it. Yeah. It's a classic.
Oh, like, I, 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 we wa- I watched that as a kid. And I'm like, why was I allowed to watch that as a kid? It's a pretty <laughs> raunchy movie. Yeah there's, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So aliens-wise, though, we asked that at the beginning. You guys yeah. are all in with aliens? I know that you said you you, you believe the demons yeah, yeah. too. Kind I'm not fully like... convinced on anything. I know there's something out there, but I don't know if it's demons or aliens or what. There's definitely yeah. something. Well, have you heard of uh, Blurry Creatures? I have, and I think I downloaded the podcast. Okay. Too, well, they're I coming have. tonight. We're doing another podcast. Oh, okay. And uh, he's bringing some stuff, like some evidence with uh, what? the Roswell stuff. Yeah. Oh. Like a, there's some what? stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Are we going to be safe here? <laughs> who knows? The door doesn't lock. Well, the booby. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a tornado coming. <laughs> and, and also, if the door was locked, it could be easily unlocked. Yeah, Short yeah. answer, no. <laughs> yeah. Not in any measurable way are you safe there. The maintenance man knows who we are. We're like, there's a tornado coming. What's the most glass we can set by? <laughs> <laughs> well, have yeah. you ever, have you ever Let's put seen some anything? electricity around our ears. <laughs> hey, where's the famous comedian going to be sitting? Oh, yeah. nearest to the window. What if we just held Strap. metal things in here? Would that, <laughs> yeah. would that help? Dude, there's a, I mean, there's a lot of lightning out there. Oh, I know. I see it. It's lightning coming. doesn't... Dusty's ignoring it. <laughs> yeah. He has to ignore it. it. Well, <laughs> well, we'll stop here, and we'll continue on the Patreon real quick. And... uh Patreon. Let's talk more about aliens. Absolutely. Right. So if you guys are watching, go to patreon.com forward slash ninjas are butterflies uh, to get extra content, discounts on merch, and see more Dusty Slays interview. We're having yeah. a good time. We are. Dusty, plug all your stuff. Oh, I got uh, my uh, social media is all at Dusty Slay. And I do, I try to mix it up a little bit and do different things like YouTube. I got longer form content. So it's not the same thing everywhere you go. A little bit of the same. And then uh, my website's DustySlay.com. I got all my dates on there. I'm going all over the place. And I'm sure that you'll find a place I'm not going. And then you can request to, that I come there. Nice. <laughs> and, uh, Absolutely hilarious. You got to go check us out. Yeah. Go check out his special on Netflix oh, as yeah. well. Work yeah. man. Yeah, I got a special on Netflix. I got a half hour on Netflix too, but I also have a full hour on YouTube that you can watch too. So, oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah, a lot of fun stuff. Dusty. Thank you, Dusty, for coming. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thanks for Means the me. world. Dope. Very dope. Right. Bye, everybody. Hey, love, we love you. you. Hey, make sure to review us too. Five yes, stars. Please. And say your favorite attribute about Dusty. Not too In the comments below. Yeah, don't do. I get that on my podcast sometimes where people give me a, like a three star review and then they'll leave some vague reason why. And I'm yeah. like, don't do that. That's yeah. not helpful. <laughs> yeah. You're not making me change what I do with yeah. my podcast. We got a review this morning and they gave us five stars, but their description was like, if there were six stars available, I would still just do five. <laughs> Yeah. Why say that? Why you don't even have say to say that? That's so funny. But, that, <laughs> but that thank you for the five though. stars. That but that's funny. what I was going to say is I'll, see, I'll get four stars on like the, the game review and they'll be like, this is the best game we ever played. I had so much fun with my family. <laughs> what what could I have done? What, why did you <laughs> tell me what I need stars? to do? <laughs> Sounds like you had a great time. <laughs> if I give you 10 stars, I'd give you three. <laughs> no, that, doesn't, that just hurts me more. I don't get the ratings. It's your five or one. Yeah, yeah. Or just mind your business. Yeah. It's kind of It's random. five or just stop listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <exactly. laughs> yeah. Amen. <laughs> That's true. You know? That's true. The reviews yeah, yeah, are only yeah. for people who are going to like the podcast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Uh, All right. Anyways, we love you guys. Bye-bye. See you on Patreon. Go! Yeah, like I got a one joke. I guess I've been doing a while. This guy goes, oh, man, that joke kills me every time. And I think, oh, dang. How long have I done that joke?